All right, so I want to take a look right now at working with the knife tool. So what we see here is an image, a vector image of my dog Spike, the snoring pug. And what I want to do is go through and show you how we can work with the knife tool. Because the way that this photo was taken, what I want to do is I want to come in and cut this portion out in there. And the knife tool actually is a pretty good tool that we can do that with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my knife tool. My knife tool is located with the eraser tool and the scissors tool. So here we have the knife tool. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit in here. And I'm going to grab my knife one more time. There it is. And again, I'm going to zoom out just a little bit so I can see a little bit better. Well, what I could do actually, why don't I start with this section right here. I can come in, I click, and I can drag, drag out. And what it does is it actually makes a pretty nice straight line and it moves around with you as you drag. So I'm going to come right in and I'm just going to pull it out right here and I'm going to cut this part off. All right, so now I see it went through and did that whole thing. Now I'm going to select, I'm going to deselect this. I'm going to come back and select this portion that I just did. And there we go. We can see what I a portion of what I cut. Okay. That right there. It doesn't always get all of it. Sometimes you have to come in and there we go. Okay. And we can delete. So we can see that there are some loose little stragglers around here, but I could come in and um, select these guys and make sure I'm on this layer. I'm actually going to hide this layer. Okay. I can come in and I can select these guys and just start to delete them. All right, let's try another little portion if I wanted to come in up in through here. Now this kind of has a different feel to it then. The line is much smoother. Um, let's see if we come in and we click. We can see that these are our different anchor points, right? So we could come in and you know move things around a little bit, do what we want to do to maybe try to get the edge feeling um, a little bit uh, similar to the one that we have over there. All right, so let's grab the knife tool again and let's take a look. We come, we grab the knife tool. We can click, move up. And what I'm doing is I'm clicking and releasing. Up. And what's happening is when you do that, I wanted to show you, when you do that, when you don't, when you click and release, it doesn't follow through the path. So what we want to do is click, do not release our mouse and just kind of hover it up and around. Um, so we don't want to release our mouse until we're done with the cut. And right, we see that it did that. We click, we deselect. And I can see actually when I zoom in here, I can see how it actually did cut. It's kind of faint, but you get the sense right up in there that it did cut that. So we can come in, I can click, I can delete. All right, so there we go. So again, I come, I grab my A, um, I could pull this up, grab my little, my different anchor points, move things around, do whatever it is I want to do with this. I can select these loose little stragglers right in here. I can delete them, select, delete. So there we have it. That's how the knife tool works. And again, what I've done now is I've taken this little pug and I have gone from just having him um, with all that around him to what he looks like now. Now what else I could do is I could come in and you know put a drop shadow, maybe even draw a drop shadow. I might even draw it with my pen tool. Um, and that might be a good idea of how to go about approaching this. Now, you can come in and you can do some other effects. And some of these effects in um, Illustrator, we can actually create um, a drop shadow. So let's say, let's come in, drop shadow. Let's, I like to always do a preview. Normal. Hmm, I wonder why it's not letting us preview it. All right, hold on, let's select them, and let's see if that's what it will be. So let's click this. Actually, we can even click down here. That's even better. We can see what my little image looks like when I come into here, and we can come to our effect, 
apply a drop shadow. All right, we deselect, and now we can see what that looks like. A little bit of a drop shadow. We could go and play around with that, change that around. And again, what I want to do is come in, zoom it on in, and get rid of these little stragglers. Again, I'm just coming in. Oopsie. And I am selecting them with my white arrow. So I think you got the idea. That's a quick overview working with the knife tool. Um, and I'll leave you with that. Thanks for listening.